you need to go against what is comfortable. Fuck your mood, follow the plan. And that is exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So get out your pencil and paper because you are about to make some real happen in the next 90 days. Let's get into it. Let's be real. If you're in a slump on your phone for hours a day and never really accomplishes anything, you gotta fix something up here first before the physical stuff happens. The first thing is how you talk and think about yourself and your dreams. In the book, The 12 Week Year, Brian P. Morgan did an amazing job explaining why it's important to think of our dreams first in order for them to become a reality. And it starts with the impossible. And with what you perceive as impossible, you can ask yourself, what if? What if it was possible? Then if it were possible, how might you make it possible? Which then transforms this idea into a probable one. By asking how, you are now thinking of how it can happen. And when you follow the steps in part three, the idea becomes a given. When things become a given, your brain can start to materialize and turn your dreams into a physical reality. If you keep going through that four step process with literally anything in your life, Life, you will start to see some serious change mentally and physically. I can guarantee about 95% of your doubts will go away just by thinking it's possible. And the second thing is that if you have fear of what others might think, just know the only person your reason and your goals need to be valid for is yourself. The only person who is going to live your life through your eyes, through your body, is you. So try to avoid taking advice and opinions from others who are not living the life that you would want to live. Out of respect for yourself, your time, and their time, it may be time to consider who you hang around with. The third thing here is to build your inner confidence, so the external can mirror that. There are plenty of videos out there on how to build self-confidence, but the way that I see it, to build your own inner confidence, you must take accountability for all of your actions, not others, because we all know that we can't control others and their actions. We can only control our actions and reactions. When you take accountability and you stay consistent to the promises that you made to yourself, you are building your own self-respect because no one else did it for you. You did it for yourself. Take action that you know is good for you, not always what feels good to you. If taken the right actions, you will feel so much better in the long run versus just short-term happiness. You heard the quote from the beginning, you can't always rely on how you feel to get something done. You need to follow your plan to better yourself. No one else can do that for you. Another reason not to let other people's feelings get to you is that feelings aren't always what's best for you. Your brain wants you to stay comfortable and safe. Getting through discomfort is really the only way that real change can happen. The first thing you need to take note of here is creating your personal vision. If you don't know where you want to be, you won't know how to get there or even where to start. In your notebook or on a good sized piece of paper, I want you to write out your personal vision for the following categories. Spiritual, note this doesn't have to be religious, relationship, family, income, lifestyle, health, and community. Now, this may take you a while, but this is about how much I've written for each of the categories. Not too much, but it definitely helped me out in this next part. Now, if you've done the first part in shifting your mindset and creating your personal vision, most of your then impossible dreams are now becoming possible. I want you to write out at least 10 goals that roughly go along with the categories listed above. Now, only pick two to three of those that you know you can take action on right now. Well, probably by the time you're done writing all of your goals and your plans, you might have to start tomorrow. Some questions you might consider when choosing these two to three are, is the current situation you're in the right condition for you to start your goal? If the circumstances aren't right, how can you make them right? What you are doing is, again, formulating how you can make it possible so you can make it possible. Also focus on the ones that you can more so easily finish within the next 90 days. We don't want to start by jumping headfirst off the mountain. You want to make these goals reasonable and achievable. As for me, maybe I don't have two hours to go on hikes every day, but I do have 15 minutes at home to do a quick yoga session. 
Forget the New Year's resolutions where we make year-long goals that we never actually commit to. I want you to completely abandon that idea. You need to live in the right now and live far enough ahead in the future that you can make some reasonable progress, which is where this 12-week system comes into play. If you have completed the last part in finding your two to three goals, you are now going to find two to four daily actions or tasks to take that will have the greatest impact on you accomplishing that goal. Keep in mind for these daily actions, they don't need to be every day. It could just be once a week that you meal prep or maybe four days that you go to the gym. Some smaller goals you may have for the 12 weeks is just getting things done like legal paperwork, which might only take one day. All you need to do is plan when and how often you do these within the next 12 weeks. To help you with the visuals, I'm going to be sharing with you my three goals as a reference. So for my first goal, I have chosen health as a main topic. Reflecting on my personal vision, I've created three of the most important tasks to take that will help me achieve this goal of having better health. One, 15 minutes of yoga plus another movement exercise for 30 minutes every day. Two, eating more mindfully, which includes reducing the amount of sugar and ultra processed foods I bring in the home which goes back to my grocery list I make once a week. Three, prepare two to three healthy meals a day. My second goal is to find more clients for my business. And my tasks for this goal are, one, continue with cold outreach methods for at least 30 minutes daily. Two, find one new marketing strategy every week. Three, and I won't be specific for this one, but there are some other legalities that I need to get in place within the next 12 weeks. And my final goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. My tasks for this include writing or market research every day for one to two hours. Two, post a video every two weeks. Three, create schedule to film and edit my videos, which I've already created for the next three months, which I may make a video about in the future. And that's the plan. You have now defined the goal, the three most important tasks, and when and how often you need to get those done. To make sure you stay consistent, Go ahead and watch this five minute video I made on how to schedule these activities in your day to day so you can get the job done. Take care you guys, I'll see you in the next one.